Hey everybody, Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Good evening, how y'all doing today? Hope you're having a great Wednesday. Uh, the updates on there for the uh, the National Hurricane Center, of course, Omar and Nana, y'all know what's going on with those two. So this video is not going to be covering that. Uh, but an update on these two right here, these two waves on the end. This is the one that has to do with uh, the one we spoke of. And if you remember, this is my video here. And if you look on the top left, it's on the 8th. So on the 8th, it shows that it starts getting towards San Juan. And if you look right before it, you'll see that it does have a moment where it, it has to breathe right here. So right here on the 5th, it shows that the wave starts building up. Because there's going to be a, a fight going on for a while over here between these two waves. Because one is actually going straight west. Uh, it's having issues. It's dissipating. It's coming in and out. And the second one is going a little northerly. So the high pressure up here that's zinging all the way across the Atlantic Ocean is going to hit your ride on. So that could be good or bad. But as you get a little further along, you'll see that towards the 7th and 8th, it shows that they're after the outcome of those two, uh, it will be towards uh, northern uh, Puerto Rico so far, according to the, what we have on the charts. And then it will be towards the U.S. when it gets some time around the 12th to the 13th that's what we show from from the video now they have it as the first one is a 30 percent chance i believe it's a 91 l now uh, and they also have the second one as a 60 uh, percent chance at the national hurricane center i just wanted to show you that now let me show you what the the right here at pivotal weather we got the euro model this one is is your uh your five millibar 500 millibar height this is where your all your pressure is 500 millibars and this is a system that starts out from those two uh, i'm going to show you through the hours if you want to follow along it starts on the 120 120 hours uh, now these two systems are going to go up and down and what i mean by up and down is the average uh, pressure the millibar pressure overseas is 1013 so 1,010 means that there's a there's a dip in, in the pressure, and then it's going 111 is a low dip, of course, you know, then so on and so on. So it's going to go in and out for a while as it travels through, according to the euro, drop down to 1,007. It's going to hover around. That's going to go northerly towards the uh, the stream that's that's pushing from the high pressure all the way uh, westerly, especially this time of the year. It's very strong. Now, that's what you have for the Euro market. It only goes up to so many hours, especially the 240. Now, if you back up, I'll show you this one next. It's the dry air. You really need to see that one. Uh, but let's versus it towards the GFS. That way I can show you both of them starting at the 120 hour. There's a precipitation, so you can see the water uh, with these cells that are coming. Because they're not very strong. They're not very organized at all. Uh, but you'll see them come in and out of the pressure system of the millibars from 113 to right there. You don't see it. That's because it's at 113 or greater right now. Uh, but it will drop again, 1009. So it's going in and out. And it's having issues growing up in that area. And you can see both of the systems both have issues. But the second one is the strongest one. And that comes well with the date uh, of what I showed you on the original video of what we're going to get from that. Here you go, 1,008. So this one looks like it is getting torn up and dissipating a little bit, but we can't get our eye off these things here. If they're going 1,013, then 1,009, and it's just going in and out. And what way rapid intensification goes for this season of the year, because we are going into our peaks, peak part of the season, anything could happen with these pressures. So we do need to keep our eye on them. This is kind of far away. But this is the light, latest, latest one that I have on that one. It's all the way to the 210. Any further than that, and it, it really isn't dependable. But see how it's going up again, 1010. So it's going down and up in the pressure system. Now, this is a Euro model. This one's quick. This one starts at the 120, and it only goes up to 240 because it anything past that really is ridiculous. But this is your pressure that you see. It does follow a western track, and then it does push northerly into the high pressure system. Now, what it does after that, we got to wait and see. It's still kind of early to know. But when I looked at the, at the P-Watt anomaly, that, that's your, that's your, your precipitation, uh, and you go to the 114, that way it's a good view of the dry air. Now, I show that both of these systems, it will come across, and there will be a massive amount of dry air 
swallow across these systems and won't give it a chance to breathe. Look, it's getting all the way into its, its circulation. So it's trying to really choke it off. And that's why these systems are going up and down on the, uh, the millibar scale. Now, not a second one. The second one flies straight north almost immediately. It still gets swallowed up from strengthening uh, immediately. So it is going to be probably a little bit under the radar for a minute. But it is still traveling in a north to northwest uh, position. Now this one right here is your winds. So we can see if the winds are still uh, hurricane force. This is picking it up on your GDPS. And always start on, on the 120. I just done clicked a few and it's at 132 already. But you can see the same thing. The pressure system is moving to the west and it gets a northern turn. And then that northern turn is going to wish it across so fast uh, across the Atlantic Ocean. It's unbelievable. That's why the hurricane's got a good chance this part of the year. Okay, it gets a ride. Now, this is getting down to 98, uh, 989 millibars on that one, and 980. So it is strengthening even with the dry air all around it. Now, the high knots that I show so far is 60. And now to figure out knots to winds, you just divide it by 6 and add that to the number of 66 miles per hour. So it, way out here is, is on the cusp of being something. It really is. Now, I want to show you all. Uh, every update I can get on this, I, I really want to keep you all informed, but I don't want to go real far ahead as to what could happen. I mean, you do see how close it is coming. It is going to be an issue. So God bless all of you. I hope everything is safe from this. God, God knows I don't want anybody to get hurt. We've got enough problems with power outages and storms already as it is. Now, I want to let you all know that I do do daily uploads of your weather every morning just so you know you what well, you got get out get up and get out into every morning and i squint you down in a few minutes just to save you some time uh, but also now what i'm going to be doing in the future is I'm, i got the king james bible of the old version of the old testament and the new testament and i'm going to be reading that every morning a section at a time and i'm going to read it from page one all the way through so if you want to follow along with the bible in the mornings after that video just click past the forecast and and listen to the story is what I call it. It's, it's, it's a great adventure. It's the Bible. It's the truth. And it gets you close to your father. I mean, even those that struggle right now, you got to have a relationship with your father. If, if, you're, if you're a dad now, how would you like to not have a relationship with your kids? That It really hurts your heart. But let me leave you with Hebrews 13. Let your brotherly love continue. Do not forget hospitality. For through it some unknown to themselves, entertained in angels. Keep in mind those in prison bonds as through you have been bound with them, and those being ill-treated since you yourselves also are still in a body. Let marriage be honorable among all, and the marriage bed be without defilement, for God will judge fornicators and adulterers. Let your manner of life be free of the love of money, while you are content with the present things. For he has said, I will by no means leave you nor by any means forsake you, so that we may be of good courage and say, Jehovah is my helper. I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? Remember those who are taking the lead among you, who have spoken the word of God to you. And as you c contemplate how their conduct turns, turns, sorry, as you contemplate how their conduct turns out, imitate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. Do not be carried away with various and strange teachings, for it is fine for the heart to be given firmness by undeserved kindness, not by eatables. I wish those occupy themselves with, with and they, they have not been benefited. Amen. So, you know, everybody has the emptiness inside. It's because we don't have a relationship with our Father. So, you know, eating food constantly isn't going to fill that void. So, you know, pray to, pray to your Father. He will fill you with love and joy, and you'd be good. Amen. God bless you all. I hope you all have a, a great day today. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you want to be part of that dailies and get on with that story with me. And I will keep you updated as the storm comes. But I don't want to stretch it like 300 hours away. That's, that's, that's ridiculous. But we do have an issue. So God bless you all. Thank you for watching.